Hello there, it's Sarah from Paper Lovely. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be working with the Simon Says Stamp Stamp Card Kit. So jumping right into card number one, I'm using the Blueprints 32 frame die from My Favorite Things. And that's going to trim out a panel from this candy card stock that measures five by three and three quarters. This Treat Yourself was included in the Ephemera Kit. And I went ahead and layered that on top of some red star paper just to pop that up from the background a little bit. So here I'm going to attach that panel to the top of my A2 size folding card. And then I'm going to go ahead and place the Treat Yourself sentiment on the front. I've also pulled out from the ephemera kit a Celebrate banner and then two pieces of cutout candy. So now that I've got that centered, I'm going to trim some scotch foam tape down and then I'll place that along the back side of that Celebrate banner. A little trick there is if you peel the backing off the foam tape, you can actually pull and curve that so that it will go right along with the same curve of the banner. I'm going to go ahead and attach that at the top of my sentiment there. And then I'm going to pop up both of those candy pieces with the remaining scotch foam tape. And then I'll add those to the bottom here. For the inside of the card, I have used one of the cut aparts that came in the paper pack, and I'm just going to attach that using my ATG gun. And that will complete card number one. For card number two, I wanted to use the stamp set that came in the kit. So here I'm stamping the hot air balloon, and I wanted to create a scene where these two hot air balloons were going to be holding a banner. So here I'm lining up the additional banner that came in the stamp set as well. I'm going to stamp that. And then I'm going to attach that as well to a second hot air balloon. Now for the sake of time, I didn't include it, but I went ahead and used the masking pen that came in the kit. Uh, just to mask off the balloon as well as the banner and then I did do a wash of blue watercolor to make the sky background. I thought that the um, masking pen worked really great. Uh, I think I may actually pick up another one. I'd like to try one with a slightly smaller tip although I really didn't have much problem um, using the one that came in the kit. So here I'm going to go ahead and color in my scene. I am using my Zig Clear Color Real Brush markers and I will have all of those colors listed for you in my blog post.
Now that my coloring is complete, I'm gonna go back to using this uh, Blueprints 32 frame die. And here what I've done is the there was a folder that came with the stickers in this card kit and it has a really pretty holographic stars on that blue background. And I wanted to go ahead and use that as a border. So I've used that frame die to cut out from that as well as now I'll cut out my scene using the same die. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that frame to go around my panel. I'm also using one of the stickers that came in the kit. Uh, this one says love and I'm just marking off the curve there of the line from that banner. I wanna have this love hanging off of that banner in between the two balloons. So I'm trimming that and then I'll go ahead and attach that along the curve. Oh, and I did place um, a banner edge at the bottom of it. So I'll place that along the curve. And then just to highlight the black line a little more, I will come in with my Copic Multiliner and just run that right across the top of the sticker. I'm gonna go ahead now and add my border. So I'm gonna use some eighth inch score tape to attach that. And I found that score tape is really the easiest way to add these borders. So I just peel off one edge, attach that, and then I work my way around the border, peeling off one side at a time. That way I can make sure things get lined up really nice and evenly and you only have to deal with one sticky side at a time. And since I had my score tape out, I went ahead and used some half inch score tape on the back of my colored panel and I'm just going to place that inside the frame. For the inside of the card, I'm going to use a sentiment wishing you a happily ever after and I'm stamping that using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. And then here I'm again using some watercolor paper. I wanted this to be nice, um, thick paper so it would really pop up from the front of the card. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp out a few clouds. I'll then go ahead, fussy cut those, and then I did use my um, Copic Multiliner around the edges of them. And I trimmed them off so that they would stop around that star border. And here I'm just going to attach those using some Nuvo glue. I added a little bit of my Spectrum Noir glitter pen. And that will complete card number two. For card number three, I'm going to use the Lawn Fawn Outside In Scalloped Border Dies. And I'm just going to tape all three of these dies together here. And then I'm going to run them through on two separate pieces of the pattern paper. And here I'm gonna alternate the frames in uh, opposite colors. 
So I'm attaching this white script panel here and I'm just gonna lay that around the outside of the frame. This is going directly on the card base. Then I'm just gonna lay in that green frame so that I can add in the center panel. Again, that's directly on the card base. I'm gonna peel up that green frame and then here I'm using some of the Doris foam strips to pop that up and give my card a little more dimension. I'll go ahead and attach that in place. Then I'm gonna trim down this sentiment. This is one of the cut aparts from the paper pad and it just is a cupcake with make a wish. So I'm trimming that down slightly and then using my ATG gun, I'm gonna attach that to some MFT poppy cardstock. And I trimmed that down as well, leaving about an eighth of an inch on either side of the cupcake. Here I'm going to pop that up with some foam tape. And then I'll place that in the center of the card. For the inside of the card, I'm again using one of the cut aparts from the paper pad and I'm just gonna trim out that banner edge there and attach it using my ATG gun. Here I wanted to add a little more to that cupcake. So I actually started out just adding glossy accents over the cupcake uh, picture and then I decided it didn't look quite right so I ended up filling in that whole square with some glossy accents. I went ahead then and did let that dry completely overnight uh, and that will complete card number three. Card number four is really simple but I think really fun. Uh, here I am again using that MFT Blueprints 32 uh, frame die and that center portion there that I cut out of the yellow pattern paper measures five by three and three quarters. I then also trimmed off two of the lines of the gummy bear paper. I'm gonna attach that yellow panel in the center. And then I'll go ahead and attach the gummy bears towards the bottom. The really cool thing about these stickers is they are the exact same size as the bears on the pattern paper. So I thought it would be really fun to layer those and I'm just using five of them here, um, but I'm adding them right on top of the gummy bears that are printed on the paper and it gives us a really cool uh, dimensional effect. Then finally, I'm gonna attach this Hello Shaker Bubble. Um, these I thought were one of the coolest things in the kit. They are, it's filled with air. At first when I saw the kit, I thought it was gonna be filled with some type of jelly. You know, it would be really squishy and, and it would move around in there, but it's actually air and it does, the stars do shake around really well. Um, so I did add some Nuvo uh, liquid glue behind that just because I wanted to make sure it stuck on there really well. 
And then there you saw me trim off one more row of the gummy bears. I'm gonna attach that in the center and that will finish off the inside of my card. And that completes card number four. For card number five, I'm gonna go back to that stamp set and create another scene. So here I'm using some masking paper from Inka Dinka Do. I just uh, stamped off both the large and small cloud on that, and then I trimmed those out. Here I'm gonna begin working on putting my scene together. So I've started out by stamping the cloud, and then I'll mask that off and stamp the next cloud. And then again, I'm going to apply the mask for that second cloud. And that way, when I layer the castle design and stamp it, the masks will make it look as though the castle is actually behind the clouds. Here I'm going to again use the same masking technique to add a clump of clouds at the top corner of the scene. So again, I went ahead and used that masking pen uh, and created a blue wash behind. I made this one slightly darker, so it would be more of a nighttime sky. And here I'm using my, uh, let's see, this is Mr. Hughes opaque white. And I'm just gonna flick that off onto the background sky to create some stars. And then I'm coming in using my Ganzai Tombi watercolors and I'll color in my scene.
I again use that MFT Blueprints 32 frame die to trim out my scene and I pop that up using some scotch foam tape. Before I place that down, I did go ahead and use my Memento Tuxedo Black marker just to go around the edges since the watercolor paper is a little bit thicker. I didn't want to have that white edge. Um, I thought the black looked a little bit cleaner. And then I'll go ahead and just place that down on the center of my card front. I wanted to add a little bit more shimmer to that nighttime sky. So I had this Martha Stewart confetti sitting on my desk and I dumped a little bit of that out, used some Ranger, Ranger Multi Matte Medium um, and just added a bunch of stars to the card front. And there I am also using the Quick Stick tool. These pieces are really tiny so it helps to have something to help pick them up and then I'm just using the opposite end to place them down. And that completes card number five. So that will complete the five cards for today. Additional photos as well as a full list of supplies can be found at my blog post listed in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a comment or a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.